June 10th, 1979. Eight of the finest and fastest three-year-old pacers in the sport. Get ready for one of the high spots in the early racing season. The $100,000 Battle of the Brandywine. The world's foremost race caller, Proximity Award winner Roy Shutt, describes the 20th renewal of the Battle of the Brandywine. Now they go. It's a great start. Breaking Point gets away on top. It's Breaking Point. Scarlet Skipper's right there. Second hot hitter is third. Sun Sam is flying up on the outside. As they come around for the top of the stretch, Breaking Point with the lead. Sun Sam is second. Scarlet Skipper third. Hot hitter fourth. Mostus Yankee fifth. First liner is sixth. They're coming around for the top of the stretch. Sun Sam as they come by the first quarter. And the first quarter is 29 and 2. By the stands, the first time, Sun Sam with that late Scarlet Skipper coming on the outside second. Breaking point is third. Moving up on the outside is Apollo LaBelle fourth. Hot hitter is fifth. Most is Yankee. First liner. And the trailer is overkill. Sun Sam showing the way as they move around for the half mile. Sun Sam with that lead on the inside. Scarlet Skipper's taking over the lead. Now Sun Sam is regaining it. By the half, in 58, up the back stretch, Sun Sam draws Sun away. Sam won 14 of 17 races as a two-year-old, banking over $246,000. He was syndicated late during his two-year-old season by Wall Street executive and horseman Louis Gaida for a reported record high $6 million, of which breeder Barry Epstein retained a portion. The sire of Sun Sam, Albatross. His dam, the Brett Hanover Stakes winner, Princess Sam. In Sun Sam's first 20 races, he has only been farther back than second once. On the outside, Sun Sam under a drive. Mostus Yankee coming on the outside. Here comes Hot Hitter on the outside, and he is flying. Sun Sam on the front end. Breaking Point is coming to him. Sun Sam and Breaking Point. Sun Sam stays in there. Sun Sam scores an impressive victory, taking the 20th renewal.